Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. We are going to start a series where we are taking a look at the export tools. Now, you can access these by having the export tool tab actually inside of your tool tabs. A lot of people do not have this, but uh, I do, and it's a nice way of being able to reorder them if you want. But of course, it is the exact same thing to come up to the export option up here in the toolbar, or of course, come to to file and then export. So you can get to this in multiple ways. And the very first thing I want to talk about are the export recipes. The export recipes are how we take the image in front of us and make our variant. What are the parameters of that particular variant? Now, everything else inside of the export tools is going to be the small little iterations or changes we can make to an image as we export it. But here I just want to talk about the tool itself and what kind of things I find to be particularly useful. First of all, we can hit the plus sign to be able to create a new recipe, but we do have some things that are uh, kind of built in. So some high quality JPEGs, some smaller uh, JPEGs that are specifically for the web, of course, Adobe RGB, uh, some Photoshop documents. We have several different ways that we can have a particular recipe. I find it useful to have a larger sized SRG RGB JPEG, a smaller size for the internet, sRGB JPEG, an Adobe JPEG, and I've never yet found a use for an Adobe JPEG that is not full sized because the internet's programmed in sRGB, so we don't have a big use for smaller sized Adobe uh, JPEGs and then TIFF. I do not have a Photoshop document export here, and the reason is you can come to any image, right click, and then edit with Adobe Photoshop, and as a result, Result, I don't export a Photoshop document, I just open directly into Photoshop, which creates the PSD for me. One thing I want to point out is we have the check marks and we have the ability to highlight. So what are those two things? Let's take a look. I'm going to just for purposes of being able to see everything, open up my size. You'll notice that I'm highlighting the sRGB JPEG full, which is 100% size. If I click on the JPEG for web, it is 30% size. So whatever you are highlighting is the one that you are currently editing, meaning we can edit the individual individual recipe. So the recipe is going to include things like your watermarking, any adjustments that you make, how it's named, etc. The one that is checked marked is ones that you are going to export. So right now I'm editing the sRGB JPEG full, but if I was to export, I would get both the ones that are check marked. So the ability to export multiple variants can happen automatically when you are exporting. Being able to hit plus and simply adding in a particular recipe is a great way to repeat Heat that particular function. When you create a recipe, all that you need to do is set up the things that you want out of it. How is it going to be named? How big is it going to be? Where is it going? Etc. Things we will look at in depth as we go along. But we create the recipe, we set those parameters, and it will just save it. Anyway, that is the export recipes tool inside of export uh, options. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.